Also happening tomorrow, Ann Arbor Public Schools is reintroducing its mask mandate. It comes amid a surge in COVID cases and other seasonal illnesses that are making the rounds. Now we reached out to some other districts, but only heard back from a few. Dearborn superintendent telling us, quote, masks will be optional in Dearborn. Individuals may choose to wear them based on their preference. Ann Arbor superintendent meantime says now is the right time for her district to take action when kids return from winter break tomorrow. They are going to be required to wear tightly fitted masks indoors for at least two weeks. 7 Action News reporter Sarah Grimmer has a closer look at the changing guidelines. Starting Monday, all students here at Pittsfield Elementary School and all other Ann Arbor Public Schools will be asked to wear one of these. Why? Well, it all has to do with public health and in-class attendance. I was delighted to see it. For Ann Arbor Public School parent Andy Brocious, how many kids are sick in her daughter's school is always top of mind. My daughter um, has a serious heart condition. Um, she's had a handful of open heart surgeries and any disease, but particularly COVID with its cardiac manifestations, uh, is really dangerous for her. It's because of this that Brocious tells me she was excited to see this advisory from Ann Arbor Public Schools on Sunday, mandating masks in class for the first two weeks following winter break just to reduce that exposure to, you know, uh, just the couple of minutes that they're eating in the lunchroom, um, I think is going to make a big difference. Parental reaction to the mandate varies. Not everyone agrees. I don't think it should be required. I, as always, if you feel more comfortable um, and people want to make it optional, by all means, but I don't think that anybody should be required to at this point. On a post 7 Action News made on Facebook, others also posted their opinions, such as, we have vaccinated and masked for years. The result, minimal impact. Differing opinions aside, respiratory illnesses have been a large concern in Michigan this winter, with the trifactor of RSV, the flu, and COVID-19 filling children's hospital beds. In Ann Arbor specifically, illness and staff caused at least five schools to close down during the month of December. Brocious says the week before winter break, she received this email. The letter says that 20% um, or more of students in Madeline's class were out sick. Um, the letter suggested um, a number of measures to mitigate. Um, unfortunately, none of those were masks. Sunday's advisory from Ann Arbor Public Schools says the goal of the mask mandate is to reduce the spread of respiratory illnesses and related absenteeism. It also notes that the CDC cites masking as a critical public health tool, effective in preventing the spread of all respiratory illnesses. Are you hoping that this goes beyond two weeks? I hope that the district continues to make choices based on data and public health interests. Reporting in Ann Arbor, Sarah Grimmer, 7.